Imagine a spacecraft 4,250 miles above Earth, slingshotting toward one of the solar system's most mysterious destinations, Jupiter and its icy moons. This is ECC's JUICE mission, on a decade-long journey to uncover the secrets beneath the icy surfaces of Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. These moons may hold subsurface oceans, making them key targets in the search for life beyond Earth. Recently, JUICE made headlines by completing a historic double gravity assist, using both the Moon and Earth to propel itself toward Venus and conserve propellant for the final stretch to Jupiter. These maneuvers are crucial to ensuring JUICE reaches Jupiter in 2031 to carry out its mission. In this video, we'll explore the science behind these gravity assists, JUICE's journey, and the groundbreaking discoveries it aims to achieve. Gravity assists are among the most ingenious tools in space travel. Imagine trying to push a massive car up a hill. You could use all your fuel just to get the car moving, or you could take advantage of the slope and let gravity do the work. That's precisely what gravity assists do for spacecraft. In this case, with the hill being a planet and the car being juice. The recent lunar Earth gravity assist was particularly significant as it marked the first time a spacecraft used both the Moon and Earth for a gravitational slingshot. During its August 2024 flybys, JUICE passed just 750 kilometers from the Moon's surface, gaining speed before looping back toward Earth, where it flew just over 6,800 kilometers above the planet. These precise maneuvers saved JUICE an estimated 150 kilograms of fuel, a critical amount for a long mission like this, where fuel efficiency determines how much time the spacecraft can spend collecting data and how far it can travel. So, how does this work? A gravity assist uses the gravitational pull of a planet or moon to accelerate the spacecraft and alter its trajectory. As JUICE approached the moon and Earth, their gravitational fields pulled on the spacecraft, boosting its velocity and redirecting its path toward Venus with minimal fuel consumption. This allows JUICE to conserve propellant for its later stages, which is essential given that the spacecraft still has over seven years to travel before reaching Jupiter. Even the slightest error in timing or positioning could have thrown JUICE off course, potentially jeopardizing the entire mission. However, the flybys were executed flawlessly, and JUICE is now on its way to Venus for its next gravity assist in 2025. JUICE is on a long journey, one that will take it over 600 million kilometers through the inner solar system before it reaches Jupiter in 2031. Along the way, it will need to perform several more gravity assists. The next major event will be a flyby of Venus in August 2025, followed by two additional Earth flybys in 2026 and 2029. These upcoming gravity assists will continue to fine-tune JUICE's trajectory, ensuring that it reaches Jupiter with enough propellant left to complete its primary mission. Why does JUICE need to take such a circular route? The answer lies in the complexity of interplanetary travel. A direct route to Jupiter would require an immense amount of fuel, more than JUICE could carry. Instead, as we mentioned, the spacecraft uses gravity assists to gradually increase its velocity without burning fuel, allowing it to carry more scientific instruments and extend its mission once it arrives. Moreover, these gravity assists provide crucial opportunities for scientists to test and calibrate JUICE's instruments along the way. During the recent Lunar Earth flyby, JUICE activated eight of its 10 instruments as it passed by Earth collecting data, and ensuring that everything was functioning as expected. This early testing is critical as it provides a baseline for the instruments, allowing the mission team to resolve any issues before JUICE reaches its target. For example, the REAM, Radar for Icy Moons Exploration Instrument, experienced electronic noise disturbances, and the Lunar Earth flyby offered a rare chance to assess and correct the problem. When JUICE arrives at Jupiter in 2031, it will go on an ambitious scientific mission, exploring the icy moons of the gas giant and investigating their potential to harbor life. Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto 
are among the most intriguing objects in the solar system, believed to contain subsurface oceans beneath their icy crusts. These oceans could hold the ingredients necessary for life. One of the key instruments on board JUICE is Janus, a high-resolution optical camera that will capture detailed images of the surfaces of Jupiter's moons. These images will assist scientists in mapping the moon's surfaces, identifying potential landing sites for future missions, and providing insights into the geological processes shaping their icy exteriors. But JUICE's scientific toolkit extends beyond surface imaging. The spacecraft also carries the RIME instrument, designed to penetrate the ice and offer a glimpse of what lies beneath. By using radar waves to probe the subsurface layers, RIME will help scientists determine the thickness of the ice and the depth of the underlying oceans. JUICE's mission complements NASA's upcoming Europa Clipper mission, set to launch in 2024. While both missions aim to understand the potential habitability of Jupiter's moons, they will approach the task from different perspectives. Europa Clipper will focus on multiple flybys of Europa, while JUICE will conduct an extensive survey of Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto over an extended period. Together, these missions will provide the most comprehensive examination yet of the icy moons and their hidden oceans, shedding light on whether these environments could support life. JUICE also builds on the legacy of past missions like NASA's Galileo mission, which orbited Jupiter from 1995 to 2003 and provided the first direct evidence of subsurface oceans on these moons. Galileo's findings paved the way for future exploration, and JUICE represents the next leap forward. With advanced technology and a longer mission duration, JUICE will investigate these moons in greater detail than ever before potentially unlocking new secrets about the origins and conditions for life in our solar system. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more exciting discoveries as JUICE continues its journey to unlock the secrets of Jupiter's icy moons. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on this and other space missions.